you eat sexually or not I'm, sexually? I'm you eat whipped cream with or without the peel. What? <laughs> you eat whipped cream with or without the pheromones? With or without the lonely man? What's the name? Is it his birthday? Oh. Now things are wanting to fail on me. So Tuesday? Just don't worry about the stream if it puts too much stress on your computer. I want to know why, like, uh, the moment I want to click a button, then it's like, oh, it doesn't want to do things. Like, I can just simply record. What do you ever not... do to your computer? Uh, like, I had to reset a bunch of stuff, and then, like, uh, that brought the total size down. I remember the first issue was, I'm deleting stuff, and now you're telling me to delete, and I've deleted everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that now things are, things are working now. It, it The streams are a go. I'm not even doing the full cross, full, all four streams like we do with the, the podcast, and that worked out great last night. My child sounds like she's in distress. But she just wants to be picked up. As most they do. As they do. But, you know, guys, it's been a while. So, hello and welcome to Dungeons and Devil Fruit, the D&D podcast of One Piece Extravaganzic. I, I don't fucking know. But uh, with us, we got Micah playing Akisu, Koda as Snyder, and Siana as Chibiusa, Sam as Tonga. What up? <laughs> and unfortunately, Yo. we are missing one of our people this week, but that's okay. We'll we'll get him back. He's he can fly, so we'll have him kind of like fly off and do his own thing and see where things go from there. And before we, it has been a while. We've had a lot of technical difficulties. So, without further ado, what? Uh, do you guys remember from last session? Uh, I remember we were we were like getting stuff, you know, for cargo purposes and shit like that. And then we heard Rory got, got like kidnapped or something, so we went to investigate. There was the beef. Yeah. So it is you. The guy and like his squad or whatever, they had their like proposition, and then we had ours. They, they weren't about it, so they tried to get you know, uh, spicy, and we couldn't handle the, the, the hot sauce, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, um, you know, fight, 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 fight. Beaverman, Beaverman flees, eats, eats himself off a cliff, thinks I won't follow, but I do. But you do. That's all I got. No, that that's pretty spot on. Who is jumping in and out of the uh, yeah. Discord uh, call? Because like, uh, like it keeps switching cameras. It's, so it's, it's my... Uh, no, it's my... Oh, I see. So it, it keeps switching between... Me and but my camera stuff is fucking guys. it's one of those like I have to mess with the wire camera. Oh, okay. That explains why it's kind of shuffling it around. So eh, for anyone interested, hi Sam, you're on camera. Oh never mind. I just found a new area and dialogue. And my wife is playing Baldwin's game. We're back. So, yes, uh, where last we left off, Tonga, you were chasing the beaver man, jumping right off a cliff into the water. Yeah. And the the rest of you all, you, you see Tonga just, like, leap right off after this guy. Uh, what do you all do? Like, what's oh. the response here? Like a, like a, they, they see you just kind of like jump right off, and that, like the the flutter of uh, your uh, kind of uh, capey cloak thing, just kind of oh, yeah. as you you're disappearing <laughs> over the cliff. Oh, that echo is weird. Uh, 
pretty well, close. pretty close. So yeah, but yeah, that, that's kind of what I'm picturing. Uh, this this, this would be a good moment for the rest of you to decide what's going on. Well, they just saw two people jump off a cliff after chasing. Yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine that's a bit to well, take. I'm, I'm near the edge of the cliff now, right? Yes. Yeah, the, uh, the map that we were on. Uh, yeah, do you still I, have that map? I do not, unfortunately. Uh, it was one of the things okay. that I, I had been focusing on, like, restructuring the entirety of the VTT. Mm -hmm. So I kind of skimped on oh, the map. I, I believe... I mean, I, I if you remember correctly, it was Kibisa and um, Akitsu were the closest to the end. I don't know about. I don't know about, but yeah, I'm not. Well, I, I believe they would be at least thirty feet behind. Yeah. You know, yeah. So. Yeah. Reasonably close, and not to mention they have a faster yeah. than you. So. Yeah. 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 All right, so as Tonga is just kind of like diving off the edge, right, like we mentioned before, you you enter the water. It, it's not that big a deal. Cause, and if I remember correctly, at the end of the last episode that we did, you did pass the uh, check to kind of uh, go into the water gracefully. No belly flops of pain. <laughs> Uh, if I remember right, um, he was, I, so I jump in and I caught him kind of hiding on a rock, right? Yeah, Something he was like hiding down uh, by a rock. Okay. In the water? Yes. Okay. Rock under the water? Or is it like water and there's like rocks, you know, at the bottom of the cliff and he's kind of like. He seems to be underwater. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you just see All like right. a, this um, big uh, brown uh, furry mass just like down uh, by some rocks uh, sinking further and further. Mm -hmm. Oh, are we sinking? <laughs> uh, make a perception. Can you have a devil fruit? Oh, make a perception. As far as, yeah. as, far as you guys yeah, know, like, he was a devil Oh. Yeah, because he's a beaver. Yeah. <laughs> he's a greasy beaver. Mm. Is there a mink beaver? Well, I, I had said that it didn't give the vibe of a mink person. Right. Okay, yeah. And How do we roll perception? <laughs> Couldn't you just like... Nope. No, it's not doing it. Uh, the new character sheets are a little... Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. Wait, with advantage, Wait, with advantage or no? Uh, I'll just say regular, since... Uh... Okay. Yeah, you know, you're, you're good at being underwater. But it's like, no, 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 someone no. else, it'd probably be disadvantaged, yeah. you know? Yeah. Did it, did it yeah, roll it? Sense. I didn't see anything. Okay. Um, okay I'll just roll the D20 then. I need to switch over to the little chat so I can see that. Whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> no. It just took a while. <laughs> okay, sorry. I guess you roll. The first one was a nineteen. Okay. So, <laughs> from what you can tell, uh, uh you kind of like squint your eyes a little bit, and you notice uh, his feet are kind of kicking, and there's like slight movements with the tail. Oh. Okay. Um. Well. Oh, more dice. Ah. <laughs> Are we are we still an initiative or no? Like uh, I mean, like is it like my go? Like, uh, you're out of initiative. Oh okay. Um, about about how far away? I'd say he's about fifty uh, feet uh, down in the water. Kind of like a bit of a oh. diagonal swim. Like I, I guess. Can I, can I use my? I use my jumping momentum to dive deeper. Yeah, like faster. I'd say that works. Uh, yeah. So, um, so um, using my full movement, 
uh, my 35 feet of swim. I want to catch up as close as I can. Um, and I think with my action, I would like to. Can I catch our person? Um, let's see. That's one of your uh, your uh, abilities that comes from your class, right? Your uh, mm -hmm. the Devil Forge? Yeah, yeah, not the pack magic, but the, uh, it's one of my normal spells. Uh, what's the source for that? Uh, I believe it's just one of my normal spells. Hmm. Not my pack magic or anything. Normal spells? Uh, I'm a little confused. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Hmm. Um, let's see here. I believe... Yeah, because like uh, all your all your uh, spell abilities that you have are from your Devil Forge, which are yeah, instead of uh, lightning lore. Oh, I can't use it because it comes from the devil stuff. Yeah, that, that's why. Oh, my spells come from. Yes. Any, I can use any spell in the world. except for the green flame blade, but that's a uh, that's different. Okay, and I guess it would be light because that's like innate. Okay. Yeah. So there's innate things, okay. and then there's the stuff that comes from your from from the okay. devil forge stuff. Which uh, and in that case, I use genetics and abilities into things. I use my movement and my action to catch it into yeah. like uh, melee range, I guess. All right. Well, you come right up on him, and like at first, it's he seems just kind of uh, like just kind of moving a little bit, and, and then he just like kind of his ears perk up, and he turns around. And you just see him uh, go from like a kind of a quizzical expression. If a beaver could have a kind of curious look to just a look of sheer like oh, his eyes widen and he just like, oh, shit. It is OK, wait, real quick. Can I make an intimidation check to like kind of like make him like freeze up? Hmm. Uh, you know what? Uh, you can I don't imagine, imagine he was expecting me to. Oh yeah, he certainly. Uh, he's just kind of taken aback by that, and like, he looks like he wants to say something, but like he can't. He's like, oh, oh shit! Okay. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> it looks like an eighteen. Ooh. Yeah, th th this dude is, is, he's just in utter shock that you're there. And for a moment, he's just like a deer in the headlights. Like, what do, what do I do? Just, yeah, I just want to, I know I don't have, an, I don't have an action to grapple or anything. So can I like get in front of him, I guess? Let's see. He was a, uh, I, not yet. Um, oh, so, okay. Yeah, I think I just Actually, yeah, because like he, he can't really move at the the moment because like he's still kind of like shocked taking that all in, just like. Well, all right. Yeah, yeah. Just wanna, like, came out of nowhere as far as he's concerned, you know. And then like he, he just kind of like. Don't think they're gonna ask me. Yeah, yeah I just kind of end it there. I just stop in place. I'm like, what's, what's your plan now, Beaver? Yeah, and as he's like kind of just regains a little bit of his composure, just kind of like shakes it off a little bit. Just kind of like he quickly looks around, left, right, up, down, and then uh, he just kind of uh, drifts back a little bit, and with a huge flick of the tail, like against like some of the rocks uh, nearby, uh, make a uh, a dexterity save. Dexterity. He's trying to blind you with a bunch of uh, debris just from smacking the rocks with his massive beaver tail. Like a 10? You are uh, kind of blinded by this. Like, as he does that, lots mm -hmm. of like a part or particulates kind of 
get all stirred up in the water and it's just kind of like almost like a smoke screen yeah and okay, okay. you're you're not exactly sure which way he's going oh, oh, sorry everyone like a cough well before we jumped off the cliff i marked him with uh, what was it? Yeah. Where's the? Oh yeah, that's one of your uh, your racial abilities, right? The hunter's mark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the the hunter's mark. The, the devil's, devil's branding. branding. Hit him with that. All right. Uh, for target is cursed. Curse ends and branches appears if the target dies. I die or I'm incapacitated. Oh, oh okay. It doesn't like do what I thought it would. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Well, uh, at All least right. you're trying to think of ways to make that work. So I was thinking more of like a yeah. hunter's mark. What do you do? We picked, picked up, up a silt. silt. Um, yeah. I mean, can I? Ooh, okay. Can I cast my like? bioluminescence to kind of fill the area with a, like a blue light you know and then i would like to maybe sounds like oh yeah mood lighting <laughs> i'm like oh yeah you're gonna try and blind me all right bet so i fucking like a bunch of light comes off my body and can i try to use that to like find him in the silk Oh, I see. You're trying to like illuminate it to kind of like get like a shadow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have you uh make a perception check with a uh, disadvantage because normally you wouldn't be able to see at all. But like, uh, I'll, I'll give you this. This is interesting. Ten. Okay, ten plus uh, your bonuses. Uh, you do see that he's kind of like veering off it towards the. Going down deeper. Oh. Is he how far? Uh, you can't really tell due to the uh, the the smoke screen of silt, but uh, mm -hmm. you you know the direction that he's going, and that's the important thing. Full full dive. Okay. All right. So and that would be you, my yeah. best light. And yeah. then... So as you uh, dive down. You notice that uh, normally people that are underwater, it's like, you know, you're you're normally uh -huh. faster than them. But this guy seems decently speedy. Uh -huh. But you're, you are keeping does, pace. Does it seem like... I keep pace. Okay. Is, is this going to be a situation where I can't catch him? Um, you know what? Uh, in, in Tonga's brain, I'm like, damn, he's, he's just barely out of my reach. Yeah, uh, is there anything that you want to do to try to catch up to him? I mean, full movement isn't enough. Movement and action for a dash wouldn't well, be action. Well, think out like, like I, I, I mean, that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like okay, that. okay. Um, Chase scenes are a little different. Um, Speaking of which, I'm going to grab my my actual dice here. Should have grabbed those earlier. I think what I kind of no, that means you gotta make a lot of rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think about what I can do. Yeah, because you already uh, for... got through the first obstacle he tried to put in your way, so that you're already off to a good start there. Dashing out of it. Yeah. So the catch up. Yeah. And then Obviously. and I'm... Hmm. I. Hmm. What else I can do? I imagine I have like rope or something. Yeah, uh, uh, you're. Uh, we were going over items when we were kind of fixing character sheets earlier. You definitely have rope. Yeah. Probably have a net. Okay. Is there, there any way, way that, that I can like have, like speed up, you know, and then like throw a net? You know what? Uh, make a make a dex check. 
and I'll just have to give him a contested. I was like, okay, here's what I'm thinking. I'm like speeding through the silt, and then once I like burst out of it, I'm gonna be like, surprise, bitch, net. All right. So as you, uh, okay, I want to. We're gonna need your uh, roll first, just so I, because I know what I rolled. Uh, I will tell you that he he rolled per, yeah. Uh, I will tell you that he did pretty good with this. Uh, we'll add it's like a 15. That it, it's close. It's close. But so, yeah. So as you uh, kind of, uh, you get your net, you kind of like uh, pull it out of your uh, bag as you're rummaging through, uh, speeding after him with your fishman uh, speed. And you kind of like throw it, trying to anticipate where he's uh, going next. Because like you're used to fishing underwater. Like no, no one beats yeah. you in that kind of thing. And then as you do, like, he kind of, like, twists the side and cuts a portion of the net as it's trying to uh, ensnare him. And then after uh, that, he proceeds to uh, kind of, like, a big uh, kick of the tail and goes down a little further. And then he starts to veer off into the, the underwater cliffside. Towards a darker area. I'm following. Yeah, and as you uh, follow and get closer and closer, you, the combination of uh, your keen eyes and the uh, bioluminescence of your body, you start to see that this darker area is actually more of a giant, uh, giant a giant cave mouth. I do I also have. Um, uh, uh, 120 feet of magical and non-magical dark vision. Yes. So, so does that help, or is that part of it? Uh, yeah, that that's factored in because, like, you your bioluminescence oh. and the dark vision would be like, okay, you're seeing in black and white, but your bioluminescence takes um. that to full color. Okay. 1080p, full HD, baby, you got it. Hell yeah. So as you're uh, going down, uh, you see that he's going into some kind of a massive cave mouth opening. Okay. I, okay. I would like to follow, but I'll kind of let him gain distance and let him think that he got what I want. I'm going to keep tailing him. All right. All right. Or maybe like, I don't know, I feel. Okay, so hot pursuit, but like uh, not pushing it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. cool. Far enough that he's still in the line of sight and vision, but keep my distance. Keep my distance. Yeah. So as he uh, goes deeper and deeper into this uh, underwater cave, you, you see him suddenly uh, turn up and then he is like out of the water. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, so you, you kind of like uh, get up in close, and then uh, as you uh, look up, you start to see like a, a water surface and kind of illuminated by your body. It has that little sparkly sheen to it, and you can see uh, all these uh, kind of wavy patterns dancing on some uh, cave walls up above. Uh -huh. It's kind of like when you go to a pub uh -huh. and like you see all the little reflections ac across the the way. I want, to, I want to make a deception check to like slowly turn off my lights to make him think I'm getting further and further. Ah, shit. It's that trick you use with cops. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to slowly like dim my light more and more. Ooh. Okay. Um, you know what? I want to. Can you give me a performance for that? Performance. Nice. I, I, like I don't think you necessarily have to, but like I, I'm curious to see, like, uh, you know, determine how this goes. It's fun. How, how well am I pulling that off? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. You're, you're proficient. Oh, not when I roll those. I, I'm giving you advantage, and I mean, you, it's your body, it's your bioluminescence. Yeah. It's your body. Do what you want. <laughs> Yeah, that's better. There we go. So 15 yeah. plus 18 plus 2, 20. Yeah. Th that's right. It's my body. I can glow if I want to. 
<laughs> I like slowly dim my light on my body as I like reach my head from the, the new water surface and just kind of give a scan of the area. As you I want to do like the crocodile thing where it's just dies. Like, <laughs> yes, I love it, and it's especially uh, works well because like you have like such, those all rows of jagged teeth and like the shape of drawing a skull. Hell yeah. Living like Katakuri for real. Do I see him in the cave? Yeah, you, you see uh, his massive, uh, very pear-shaped figure as he kind of like slowly <laughs> back into like his hybrid form. And then like mm. he kind of like shakes it off, uh, all the water. <laughs> and you just you, like hear just a, a big gasp of like... <gasps> <sighs> Fishman really gave me trouble back there. And he just kind of like looks around, and you can see like a all kinds of like shadowy shapes uh, in this uh, cavern okay. that's now all dark. So you can still see uh, and make out like right. various crates and other uh, things within the area. Mm. And then as uh, and I... oh, yeah. go ahead. Uh, well, what you th what you think? I was just gonna make like a as I'm looking around the area. What does this does it look like? It's like some kind of like storeroom. Is this like a like a secret, you know, like like stash or something? Yeah, it seems to be like some kind of a storing grotto, like a. And are there? Do I see any other like entrances or exits? To those uh, give me a quick perception. Sorry, you guys. I'm doing all the rolling here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just on the cliff. Like, I wonder what's happening. <laughs> Wait, does it? Um, you have a fucking. I have a shell. The the the, the snail. snail thing. Yeah, you. I have you did one. Call. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm just gonna. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Better, better, better. No, <laughs> yeah, this is a flat scene with well, maybe like a 17 person. Does it text? No, it's just like a phone, like a like a landline. Uh, with a 17, do I have any exits or entrances? Uh, with Other a 17, the one that I'm you're, you're kind of like a looking down and kind of like. That full like crocodile lurk, just like kind of like slowly turning your head mm -hmm. one way to the other, like kind of like you know, that full rotation. Uh -huh. and, I'm not, as I'm looking though, I do kind of want to like slowly get to like the the edge, you know, but like okay. far away, like not. You know, Okay, so like you work your way. Or like I can get onto it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you are thinking like left or right? Because, like, you, you can see plenty of, uh, like, boxes and, uh, like, some tables and other things in the area. And, like, as you kind of, like, look around with uh, your, with let's see, that 17 for perception, you notice, like, some kind of, like, vessel, like, a uh, submersible submarine uh, object. Oh. You can make out the general shape. It, I'm pretty confident in what it is, but you haven't really dealt with these kind of things directly. I have forgotten that you saved my life before being All right. And then I'm just kind of watching. Watch. Yeah, there's a bit of a docking platform near that. The The room is, like, really not well lit, except for uh, some small lights on the far side of the cavern, where you can kind of, like, make out the mouth to the entrance of another uh, offshoot cave. Not exactly sure what you can make out there. And you see him just kind of like working his way that way with just kind of like an exhausted uh, beaver waddle. And he reaches down into his uh, pocket and pulls out a transponder snail. All right. All right. As, as he pulls it out, I want to get in 30 feet. I want to just like wanna throw a dagger at the snail. <laughs> You're going to kill a poor snail? <laughs> you know what? That wouldn't do anything. I want to throw a dagger. I want to like... I want to throw it. 
like okay, so wait which is not facing me right he's like so i'm picturing i would like to I pull out like a dagger from my side and i'm just like and i throw it away from the submersible and like as i throw it i want to like skirt around okay okay you know what i let's see that's a combination of things. Uh, Charisma is your higher stat, right? Yeah. Okay, so how about you use uh, your charisma for your stealth check? Because you're trying to be distracting. Ooh, okay. Right, I'm like both hiding and distracting. Yeah, yeah. It's simultaneous. Let's, let's we'll save you a roll here. All right. And just a flat roll? Um... So it's looking like 11 plus 2, 13. Okay, so this guy, he can he can see fairly well, but, you know, it, he's a little stressed out from the, the pursuit earlier, so he's a little jumpy. So you, you go, you, you fling that dagger, and as it, uh, like, starts dinging in, uh, loudly and scraping off the surface of uh, the stone, he's like, ah, ah. Oh, it's probably close. And he he starts hurrying along faster, and you can just hear him. Uh, well, you just hear the transponder snail with his better, 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 better. Gotcha. What do you want, uh, boss? We we got a problem. What do you mean? While he's doing this, can I with with this time of like as he's talking to the snail, can I like sneak up? <laughs> Yeah, you can kind of like uh, get out of the water and uh, uh, you know, like pull up to the side. You, you are you are like just kind of like dripping. So uh -huh. I, I wouldn't be too confident in any kind of like advancing there, but I'm gonna go like full like four legged crawl. Get <laughs> I would drive. 10 feet if I can. And like, You're really making this alligator thing serious. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, in character. Lurking. <laughs> ah, damn. Oh, the dark cavern. I'm a dark. You know, I got like the black jacket on. I kind of hunch up a little bit on the ground. I am a sucker for the Ranger's Apprentice. So I'll, this, is, this is the kind of thing I like. You got that long cloak thing. You're keeping low to the ground. You're taking it slow. Okay, so you you did distract him successfully. So you're just kind of like slowly, little by little, working your way around, staying low. Like he's expecting a tall six foot figure to kind of like come up, come up behind if anywhere. So he's like kind of like looking around. At this moment, I don't quite want to. I just kind of want to listen for a minute and kind of like watch what he's doing. And then, yeah. Hold up, I got a question. Yeah. What's what's the design of the submersible? Like? No, now that I'm like closer, do I see like like a wide like entrance? Is it like I'm picturing like the like a Spy Kids like <laughs> big glass like front, you know? <laughs> okay, so it, it's a rather large one. Because like as you notice you coming coming in like it was a fairly large cave entrance, v very wide, must have uh, been at yeah, least yeah. like a hundred uh, feet on, like on each side, just like going in. Mm -hmm. So plenty of workable space. Right. So I'd say like uh, about fifty to sixty feet wide for the uh, submersible, and about uh, seventy feet long. All right. Here's my next question. Can I sneak in? All right. Well, as you kind of... <laughs> I would like to attempt to sneak onto the submersible. <laughs> if it's open already. Like, is it opened it yet? Or like... No, he's not even going in that direction, so that makes it all the easier. Oh, I thought he was. <laughs> no, no, he's going to... It's like a, the, the mouth of one of the... the uh, Wait, there's oh. like a 
a cave <laughs> offshoot. And as you're like kind of like sneaking up oh. around him, like you you hear him continuing his conversation over the train of him a little. Yeah, like you're kind of like kind of flanking, listening. He's like, "Boss, there's a we were ambushed, uh, completely outnumbered. We went to interrogate the kid about the the stuff of the, being stolen for the party, and we think it was a setup." All right. Pretty- As he says that. I'm trying to, what's the time scale looking like? I don't want to be like, I'm doing this, this, and this. Okay. But like, as he's talking, I want to sneak up behind him. I literally, I just want to like, fuck, grab him by the back of the head. <laughs> I imagine we're up like, well, I guess he died. Let's just go back. <laughs> I want to pull like, Stealth grapple, cover his mouth, and like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> break his neck. No, I'm not gonna kill him. I just want I don't want him to shout out, right? So like I'm like I'm gonna grapple his head and mouth, you know, and just like drag him back if I can. <laughs> so you're, you're he, he up- said he dropped into his hybrid form, right? Yeah, yeah. He's not full beaver man. He he's not full beaver, but he's like hybrid beaver, so he's still got the tail yeah. and like mm-hmm. he's still got that big old pear shape to him and waddle. But like, all right, bet. Yeah, he's pear shaped, right? So I can, I can reasonably get my arms around him, right? I want to step on his tail, like full weight, and then fucking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you're sneaking up behind this guy. You, you hear him. Uh, no talking, leverage. Like, you, son. you hear him talking uh, to uh, whoever this boss is. Uh, he's like. The, Either some new player in town, or or the or the time end pirates are finally making their move. Maybe they're using someone else as a distraction. And, and then, okay, uh, hmm, uh, I guess give me a grapple. <laughs> like a strength check. Yeah, yeah, but with with advantage because you're catching him. Uh, you're kind of like getting him by the tail. I, I'm not gonna say by surprise because two fifteens. <laughs> All right, this looks like a 17 with my strength. Oh, proficiency, so 19. <laughs> Shit. So it, that is contested. You both got the same thing. <laughs> you both got a 19? <laughs> yes. This is great. This is great. I love it. What happens? <laughs> I am so happy I, I got these metal dice. They, they're... they're they make the okay. fun outcomes. So, so as you come up won't. behind him, and uh-huh. he, you kind of like you jump onto his tail, and his head kind of like whips around. And you kind of like grab, like reach your arms around him, and like you're trying to cover his mouth, but his like massive incisors are in the way. So you're like er, trying to like push down and cover his mouth, but you got like this big old. Uh, double tooth uh, thing blocking you so he's still able to talk he's like boss they got me they got me <laughs> <Send help." laughs> he, he drops the snail and you just hear from the snail like what what's what's happening damn well, i mean with that can I? I just want to like whisper. I guess not. I don't need to whisper anymore. Can I, can I just like, I want to kill this man now. I'm over it. <laughs> you kind of like swirl out like, my question. What was that? The, like, I kind of like garbled. I, okay. So, so as I, so we're, we're wrestling, right? Yeah, you're, you're wrestling in this. He's crazy. I mean, I don't have any. I'm out of the water. Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm out of the water. I got spells. Yes. <laughs> I I would like to cast on a person as I'm holding. I'm just going to be like, tell your boss everything's okay. Ooh. I'm just going to kind of whisper it in his ear. 
so you're like tr- trying to like grapple him and you're just like oh wait a minute yeah. okay okay um like, yeah, yeah. what is Not your fine. dc is like what 13 yeah let me just uh pull up his uh stat block here i'll pop that in chat for you it what uh what saving throw is that again i think i want to say uh, wisdom. wisdom wisdom oh, oh. Yeah, it looks like a wisdom saving throw. Oh, you you might you have a very good chance of uh, making this happen. Yeah, you see thirteen, I believe. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but he got a seven. Hey, Let's go. It worked. <laughs> All right. So I just want to. I just want to. Whisper in his ear and be like, "Shh, it's fine. It's fine. We're friends. Tell your boss it's okay." He's like, <laughs> he just kind of like has a sleepy look in his eye and like, yeah, yeah, it, it's all right. And he reaches down, and he grabs the transponder snail. It's like, sorry about that, boss. Uh, my mistake. I'm just really jumpy down here. I'll be meeting up with uh, you and the crew later. Life. And then he hangs up. Yeah, I'm gonna take it from him, put it in my pocket. Hell yeah, free transponder. You know? <laughs> Alright, how long that person lasts for what, like a minute, I think? Yeah, like? it lasts for a minute. Oh, an hour. Oh, an hour. Yeah, so one hour uh, regards you as friendly until he takes damage or I do any harm to it. Yeah. Okay, so as he so he's kind of like let his guard down now, right? Yeah, he's just like charm. Yeah, he's kind of like a chill with uh, you for the for the meantime. He just kind of like looks at you a little quizzically, like y- you know what, friend? L- let's go. Let's get a drink. We got a fresh shit moment. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna take this from you for a minute. Put it in my pocket. I'm gonna say so. Yeah. Look around the room. What is this place? You never took me here. Oh, oh, right, right. Yeah. You see, we get a lot of our more, more illegal goods down through here. And uh, as you can see, we got some, you know, oh, wait, where are my masks? Like, he just like, just hold on. And he, he just waddles his uh, beaver uh, ass over to a uh, to a big old switch and flips it. And then just like a big old flicker, and then like you hear like that buzz of electricity, and that like full on it. It looks like a weird stone warehouse grotto situation. Like there's some tables here and there. Uh, there's like little warehouse shelves just full of boxes of things. And you you can see the uh, submer the submersible more clearly now. It kind of like has a dark blue coloring to it. Presumably for camouflage purposes. Right. He's like, ah, right. oh, okay. I had a rough fight earlier. And then I kind of like stretches his neck, but it's like, you know, we kind of like things are feeling a little bit better now. Uh, Looking at him, does he look like he's in like good condition or like beat the shit? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure what check I want to go for with that. Uh, maybe insight. Let's go with that. All right, insight sounds good. Yeah. Uh, insight. Like uh, eight. You're not quite sure. Like he's he's got a few scratches on him, but at the same time, like he was able to sufficiently like uh kind of hold his own while the rest of his uh, crew yeah. got wiped. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want to size him up as he's talking. Just kind of look him over. Mm, yeah, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to kind of walk with him for a minute and like let, let him explain the area as I kind of observe it. I'm like committing it all to memory. You know? Yeah. Now, as you uh, walk with him and he's uh, talking, he's explaining... Like how they get regular shipments in, and as long 
this is how they kind of like stay under the Marines radar because the Marines kind of like come in every now and then for their protection money, so to speak, that to allow the yeah. uh, local pirates to be able to operate there as they do. Uh -huh. And this is how they kind of like smuggle in a little extra to keep things under the radar so they don't have to pay as much. Uh -huh. Because the, the Time Man Pirates, they, they keep all their stuff above ground. And th this is the, they kind of like their own little secret, like, you know, skimming off the top. Right. So there's like crates of weapons, uh, crates of all kinds of like uh, illegal substances and uh, the like. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. and course, yeah, and then he kind of like uh, comes up to a, a little kind of like sitting area with a couple benches and a barrel with a uh -huh. spigot. And he just kind of like grabs a mug off the side, almost and then like uh, fills it up, hands it to you, grabs another one. And it's just Then after that, he just kind of like leans over, kind of like uh, one of those office dudes at a, around a water uh, thing, around the water cooler. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take it like a shot, and I'm gonna be like, ah, this is kind of weak. I think I got something better. I'm gonna reach into my jacket and pull out like a bottle of one of uh, one of the toxins I've been distilling. <laughs> What's your life? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> You're talking about poisoning this guy. What's your alignment again? I'm going to poison him with the paralysis agent. <laughs> ah, okay. You're like, uh, no one will find him till later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll we'll fucking tie this man up or something. Yeah. So I want to just pull out this bottle, and since he's charmed, I'm going to be like, Let's take a swig of this. And he's like, mm. hey, yeah. He can kind of like gives a little sniff. Hmm. And takes a little sip. Try me. And he's kind of like, uh, kind of like, kind of like smacks his lips together. It's a little bitter, but and then he like, uh, kind of like reaches over for like a little bottle of whiskey off the shelf, and like kind of like uh, pours a little bit of each into the, his uh, cup, and then kind of like swishes it around, and just kind of like takes a deep, I drink it. takes a deep draft of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, see, that that's what it needed right there, and he, he hands it back to you. And a, after he like, does, he's like, mm, "Oh, that, that that really relaxes the muscles," and just like he's like, oh, and as he kind of like stretches right. back, he just kind of fall. Uh, let me actually, what's the DC on that poison before? <laughs> um, I believe it goes off of my spell mark, so it would be a DC thirteen. Okay, yeah, so... it's it's uh, DC thirteen or something. Okay, yep. Well, that's a dirty twenty. So he kind of like shrugs back. And it's like, okay. ooh, ooh, that's. It's, it, this is kind of like hitting him like a. Uh, you, you know how some people get addicted to morphine because they really like how like they're. Like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And, oh, okay. and that has been mixed with alcohol, so he's not paralyzed. But he's like mm -hmm. enjoying it. Yeah, yeah he's feeling it. He's feeling it. Yeah, it's like it, it's not taking him, but he's like, ooh, that, that like we're nice and relaxed. He like kind of like tries to crack his back a little bit, kind of like feeling nice and he, he's starting to act like a little fluid, like ooh, that, that's it. And like it takes a little. <laughs> sip. Yeah, you can go ahead and I'll take a sip. Yeah, and he like uh, and he reaches one. back for it and like takes another big old like. Yeah, I'm gulp of it. And Bieber. <laughs> Casual poisoning. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I guess, I guess this would be a pretty good moment to cut back to the rest of them while I'm talking and drinking with this man. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, that, this is a great segue to the rest of the party. I'm going I'm to keep going until he's like, until I'm comfortable, he's not going to be able to fight. Mm. Fair enough. Yeah, it's like it doesn't affect me, so he is—he can't tell. What were we trying to do before we got into this fight? 
It's been uh, like a month and a half. Yeah, uh, yeah we, can we already did that. But yeah. what? the original plan. Oh, to turn the gangs against each other so they kill each other? I believe. Yeah. And use the bounty money to. Yeah, and take credit. Yeah. Yeah. And from what Tonga has learned, use the bounty money to finish this shit. Yeah. From what Tonga has learned, uh, you guys don't know this, but the beaver man that had just reported into uh, his boss, uh, one of the pirate leaders of the island, he seemed, is under the impression that your crew is working with the their rival uh, pirate crew of the island. Which we're trying to do. We wouldn't know that, right? Yeah, but that's what we were trying yeah. to do, so yeah. we would hope that that's what so so far so good towards the goal you guys don't know that yet but right. speaking of that, that, i have a question yes as um as i'm kind of sitting with this man for a while uh i'm gonna kind of like leave the bottle with him and i want to like step away a little bit like to the other side of the room and just kind of like discreetly make the call to the group and fill them in on what i've learned yeah uh, as you uh well yeah, as you do, he kind of like looks well, over. It's like, been like a hot minute before you even called us. Yeah, yeah it'll probably be like what, like a few minutes. Yeah, we yeah. feel like we wouldn't just be standing there though. Oh, probably not. Okay, so back I, up top. My character would have been like uh, yeah. standing there for maybe like five minutes, and then would have been yeah. like, "Well, <laughs> yeah, I kind of give you like I don't know five, ten minutes or whatever, however long it takes for him to get comfortable, and then I will kind of give you guys the call. I'm just hugging those that old couple. Since and I'm crying. Into the water. Yeah. It's yeah how long like is probably it? Probably like thirty minutes, right? Yeah, like. Oh, all right. How long is it? Been? Well, uh, <laughs> for you, it, you've been just underwater for a few minutes, but you've been uh, yeah, kind of, like sitting and like doing your like the sneaking, the chatting. Yeah, you yeah. Had a drink. But I'd say probably about five ten minutes ish altogether. Oh, oh, really? Uh, I feel like it would have been like thirty minutes. <laughs> Time in D and D is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Like, you know, all right, like fifteen at most, I guess. But up top, you guys, like, you spend like five minutes, like, hmm, you know, Tonga hasn't come back yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, Siona already said it, but I also turn around to make sure that old couple, okay. Yeah, she she's just kind of like uh, hugging the uh, the old couple and just like, well, it it we appreciate you pr protecting us and the the boy over there. Uh, hopefully this doesn't come back bad on us. Uh, there, that's a nice little. Uh, hope hopefully there's another rainstorm uh, sometime soon. That's a lot of blood on my lawn. <laughs> hey, do you have a? Oh, what I asked the old couple. Uh, oh. You say, "Hey, do you have a camera?" A camera. I say, "Yeah, yeah." Now they kind of look at each other like, "No, no, we, we don't keep any of uh, those. We, we do just have like a one little transponder snail in the house for, you know, calling out to our son. He, he's in the. Well, not. Uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> and. <laughs> Like, Does anybody else know you were here? But, but just our, our, our uh, uh, he, he he knows like he hasn't been home in a few years, but so he doesn't know what happened at the attack. No, no, no. Oh, uh, we we haven't called him in about a week. Is is that right, honey? Yes. Are they scared of me? <laughs> uh, they don't really know what to make of you. They they've never seen another they've never seen a mink before <laughs> minks <laughs> are very rare I've been talking to <laughs> all right well don't tell anyone because uh we're on a secret mission all right i'm so sure their house damn i'm sure if i told anyone they wouldn't believe me <laughs> <laughs> that's the spirit all right um i'm not gonna hurt you i was trying to save you so i'm gonna go now I think my friend's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the old man kind of like uh, gives you a nod. Well, you take care of yourself. And then the, the old lady's like, wait, wait. And she kind of like uh, just kind of shuffles into the kitchen. And she comes back with like a like a slice of pie. 
And she's like, Aww. Young lady, you helped us out so much. You really need to put some meat on those bones. Here. <laughs> I'm gonna like reach for her hand and give her a kiss on the hand, take the pie and leave. <laughs> so yeah, you, yeah, eat it in one bite. You just like eat this the little piece of peach pie in one bite. You're like, oh, thanks. Kiss the hand, go. I set the plate down and then I like start like popping so much I'm like vibrating out the door. <laughs> what a nice barber person. <laughs> better, better, better. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, okay, so she's doing that. Uh, Snyder, what are you doing? Um, I'm tending to since he did kind of get the shit beat out of him. <laughs> yeah. So uh, by this point, uh, <laughs> you, you see Rory, and uh, he he's got some bruises right here, kind of a swollen eye, and you kind of like get them all untied. And his red hair is just all a mess, but that was kind of like already kind of messy before. You know, from the being an orphan. Yeah, you know, the, the things that orphans do. Oh shit, I should have given him the pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you earned it. <laughs> just sitting there in front of the fucking world and be like, damn, kid, this pie is so good. I'm just... <laughs> you ever had pie before? You should get some. <laughs> damn, this is what happen if you didn't fuck up and get captured. <laughs> Yeah, if only yeah, he had just hard. learned what? to not be an orphan. <laughs> Get new parents, kid. <laughs> Ain't that the way? He looks Ain't up at you. And he's like, "Uh, where's Mister Tonga?" And then he's like, uh, he's, "He's dead." His arm is like, "Ow!" Ow. <laughs> he he is currently finding the Beaver Man. Um, he's been in the water for a, a, a bit now. I don't exactly know what's going on. Yeah, like almost he, all day. He breathes water, so he'll be fine. Well, yeah, <laughs> I once saw Mister Tonga. Like he he was went in and like he he spent about I, I want to say like twelve hours out in out in the sea, and then like came back with like a huge haul and. Like a big old yeah, beaver was still back. It, it was weird because like, he kept kind of like holding it, kind of like you you see like a like a one of those uh, hobo people with with a stick, and like he just had it like on his shoulder, like draped over him, and like a just a little bag of like smaller fish. Yeah, he'd be fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He 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 he'll, he'll be fine. Yeah. Fifteen minute mark. I want to go ahead and give a call to Oxisu. And then I'll you know, give them a recap of everything that's happened. I'm kind of like, hey, hey, Aki. <laughs> I just like, wait, while, uh, better, better, better. While, while I hear it, I'm just like, what is that? And then, because I recently bought it, because I forgot, so I forgot I had it. So I just like, it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I feel that disorientation sometimes because I change my ring code. I'm here to uh, talk to you about your ship's extended warranty. <laughs> <laughs> Them gat dang telemarketers again. We're talk. We're here to talk to you about your naval loan. <laughs> uh, we're here from the church of uh, uh, the church of Jesus the Christ. <laughs> uh, I get up and I'm like, uh, excuse me for a moment. I'll make a call. Look away. Hey, Aki. Hello? Hey, Tonga, did you catch that greasy beaver? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you sly dog. I'm like, I'm with him right now. Got him charmed. Talking you him sly up. dog. <laughs> <laughs> Got him real lubed up. You know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> He's like, he took me to some underwater, underwater cavern. cavern. I'm getting him drunk up. Yeah, you get it. The I'm greasy beaver took him country. back to her cave. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the news? And then I, you know, I go the whole spiel. I found this uh, secret cavern. You know, they have like a storehouse. And I give them the whole rundown of who they're working for. You know. 
So what you're telling me is what 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 are the yeah, what, we're, what we're pirates getting... are they called? This is the zoo pirates, like Z U. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll say. So you're telling me the zoo pirates think. Sorry. Yeah, the zoo pirates think that the other pirates are responsible for what we did. Yeah, they may as well be working for them. So all is going according to plan, is what you're saying. Seems to be the case. Hell yeah. What do you think is the next move for us? I'm going to look over to the beaver guy. How is he holding up? <laughs> he's just kind of uh, relaxing. Like He's got his tail propped up against some barrels for support and like ha- the chair's half leaning and one foot on the table. Oh, you know. <laughs> I'll look I'll look over the beaver is a non- a non- moment. Do you think he will do what you say? Not for long. Once the spell wears off. How long do you there. have? Uh, it's been 15 minutes, probably about five minutes he's charmed. So about, about 45 minutes, uh, probably 15 minutes. You think you could get him to attack the other pirates? That way their suspicion is confirmed? I'm going to promote, I'm going to say, I haven't used this ability too often, but it doesn't seem to last for too long. And they become aware of my ability at the end. Yeah, but if you get him to attack and he becomes aware in the middle in the middle of the attack that the the, the, the reason why we wanted him to do that in the first place is already done. I mean, actually, I don't think he would make it to, to his group in time. He's not making it to his group. He's I making mean, it to the other group. I, mean, I don't think he's making it there either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could we could tie him up, maybe you know, bring him with us. Um, like out of character, we yeah. could probably like have him find the entrance that is above ground, so we can yeah. Leave, <laughs> then and just yeah. the rest okay. of the crew. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna kind of look over to him. I'm gonna be like, I mean, you can say that in game because you would be able to hear the conversation. Yeah. I'm gonna look over to Beaver Guy, and I'm just kind of like. Hey, do you mind uh, showing me the way out of here? I got somewhere to be. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, the He points to uh, the uh, archway uh, the switch was. Uh-huh. And uh, he also uh, gestures to, like, of course, there's also the that way with the submersible. And, uh, uh, damn, I, I, I didn't really get concrete his accent in my head so <laughs> it's been all over the place that's okay fine it, yeah it's he's kind of effective being charmed yes i want to yeah he's a little he's a little loopy and he's drunk so whatever i mean like you mind uh walking with me i don't really know my way around here well that's fine that's fine and then uh as you walk up to him you hear a Better, I was better, the... better, better, better. <laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll be like, catch you guys in a little bit. Click. <laughs> and then he pulls out his transponder stand. I was like, yeah, hello? What was happening earlier? Wait, you said that the, the time end pirates were making their move? Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure. We, we were attacked earlier. Thankfully, me and my friend got out alive. I gotta give him a nod. <laughs> <laughs> and he's yeah. like, look, look, give him a nod to continue. Yeah. Just kinda... <laughs> if they're making these plays right now, it can only mean that it, it's time. It's been 19 long years. Does that, that, that ring ring a bell? Nineteen years. Yep. Yeah, uh, as far as uh, it, it's kind of common uh, local knowledge, and you've been around here for a minute, so I am a local. Yeah. So you are aware <laughs> that the that the occupation of the zoo and time and pirates, respectively, has been nineteen years. 
since the initial time that they had on the island where they the two captains had fought each other to a stalemate and have not fought each other since but uh-huh. have also been too stubborn to leave it for the sake of letting the other person claim the territory right, right. okay no one's quite sure why they haven't fought again so it's been a, so as you I kind of think on it for a moment yeah I'm kind of like it all it all starts to click. I'm like, oh, oh, I see. I'm kind of thinking. I kind of look at him. I just kind of look at the uh, the way we're heading. Do I do I start to see like an exit come into view, like the outside? You know? Yeah. Okay. You can see like a, some stairways that kind of like lead up. Okay. If we're heading up. It's gonna kind of uh come on, it's gone. You are oh, fuck. okay. Um I I know you're thinking on it. <laughs> I don't think if I can like knock this man out or something. Okay. Uh, he I'm is not- mid call on his transponder snail again. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep listening as he talks as we keep walking. I'm thinking on what to do. And he, he, so he continues, and he's like, "Yeah, the like I was trying to say before, we caught this kid working with a couple other people, and the the, the other two got away with a whole bunch of our supplies and booze uh, for the party coming up tonight." We figured we'd talk uh, about the kid. We kind of beat out uh, some answers from him, see what was going on. But before we knew it, a, a bunch of uh, unfamiliar faces, uh, some people we haven't seen in town before, show up out of nowhere. And they just decimated my men. Do I, do I recognize, like, I mean, I probably know who the leader of the pirates are. But, like, is his voice, like, recognizable? Um, can you give me a... Uh... Let's say a history check. Because that's a good re- re- relative knowledge. Uh, looks like a 11. Yeah, you heard the man speak before. You're you're not entirely certain, but you're pretty sure that uh-huh. it's uh, the captain. Okay. okay. This is a piece of other knowledge in my fish man head. I'm going to let him in conversation i think um before we get to the exit like probably like 50 60 feet through you know so we get the exit i want to just like what is it like a dark hallway it's more lit up than or is it, is it like, was all lit? okay <laughs> all right does he does he finish the call or oh yeah, he, he's like uh, going off uh, with the guys. Like, if ultimately, we're going to have to gather the officers together and mm-hmm. come up with a strategy. We'll probably have to cancel the party in favor of uh, figuring out what we're going to do about the time in uh, pirates tonight. I need you to be there at eight. There's uh, here, <laughs> and he hangs up. All right. And I kind of look over and say, ah, some kind of party? That sounds exciting. Well, it was going to be. Kind of, the, the year, the, every year we kind of like give a little bit of a celebration. Well, you see, you know, the big man's birthday. Kind of raise an eyebrow. The big man. Yeah. The, the captain's birthday. You know. Oh, you know. oh, the captain. No, I never, never really my stuff. And I guess to you, uh, as a fishman, birthdays are kind of a foreign concept. That's mm-hmm. connecting to the. Uh, up oh, there. Okay. <laughs> Dipping in and out of the server, huh? It has. Yeah, yeah refreshed a little bit. All right. 
As as we're kind of walking, I want to want to I want to deal some non-lethal damage and try to knock this man out. <laughs> I just want to like I'm gonna quietly like unsheath my uh, my coat peshes and just make some like blunt blade attacks against like the back of his neck. Oh, so you like kind of flip him around? Okay. Like like uh, you know, as we're walking together, I kind of like take like a step uh, like I. Uh, I'll step out of sync with him, so I'm a little bit behind him. And then I'm going to kind of pull him out from my side and just go <laughs> to the back of the head. All right, let me just uh, pull up that again. Try and knock him out. All right. I'm just going to break the charm, but that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, roll to hit. Non lethal. All right, how do I roll to hit on him? <laughs> Uh, short sword? Yeah, it'd be uh, short sword because those are your Kopesh. Attack? With advantage or not? Yeah, I'll give you advantage. He's not expecting it. Damn. Ooh, a two and a one. Well, <laughs> yikes. All right. it, this is two uh, attacks. Seven to hit, I guess? This is two attacks, so. That's the first one. Well, that that one would be it. All right. Like, oops, sorry, there was a bug on you. Ooh, one. Yeah, <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, much better. Nineteen. Okay. <laughs> so, as, as you go to kind of attack him, you, you kind of like uh, take your backhand. You're just like sneaking up to him, and you go uh, for it. And like he just kind of like stumbles. And Fucking stops. tumble. <laughs> <laughs> and it just like whiffs completely. And then, like, you, you're like, shit, shit. And then you go for the follow-up to to the back of the head. And a, as yep. you do, like, you just kind of, like, hit him with the back end of it. And what's the damage? Yeah. Um, um just roll damage. Good old non- Oh, question. Wait, wait, wait. So, so because of the devil's brand, a 19 is a crit. Ooh, I like it. Because that's still active. That's <laughs> perfect. Yeah. So, so I, as I hit him, a mark on his chest flares up, increases the damage. All right. Uh, so what would that be? Uh, 16 of damage? Yeah. I'd say 16 non non lethal will knock him out. Nice. And you just hear like a. Ugh! And then he just oh God, falls slump. And then he just like falls limp to the ground. And just nice. belly first, arms to the side, and it's just like you kind of like you see like a little chip in his tooth. Mm, okay, I'll go, I'll go ahead and tie him up. You keep, keep heading towards the exit. Okay, remove the I rope from not. your inventory. Thank you. Got it. Rope has been removed. You'll have to pick up some more at another time. But this is why rope yeah. is good. Yeah, your rope now will be greasy. You <laughs> <laughs> got that greasy rope. Right. Yeah, I assume he's like a like a worse second throwable from my shoulder or something. Hmm? Uh, like, is, he, is he a normal guy? I can throw him over my shoulder and just kind of carry him out of there. Uh, he is, he's a, I'd say about a 350 pounds of a oh, hyper man. Damn. <laughs> uh, Even the hybrid, for, god damn. Uh, yeah, like, this is, you gotta understand, like, uh, Sam, you're not used to Portly working. man. Like, there, there are some very, there, <laughs> there are some very big. Oh, okay, people. in that case, I will drag it like at a. Yeah, I was like, oh, hybrid. He's just like a, he got like a tail. He's like a regular. Which who is the same size as my character is human. Oh, damn. Yeah, oh, yeah, you showed me him. I was like, <laughs> yeah. All right, but I mean, can I, can I like drag him out of there? Um, let's oh. see. Uh, you should be yeah, able to. Tie him up and leave his ass there. Oh, you yeah. come back for him. Yeah. At the very least, he'll be out of the way for a while. If you're going to put me into there, do you think I could lift him? 
Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, you definitely could. Well, I was looking at your character sheet earlier. You can just with your backpack alone, just carrying stuff. You can carry up to four hundred and fifty pounds casually. Oh yeah, you did. Right. So, so I would know how. I mean, about how strong Akisu probably is. Yeah, you I got, get. Him. I go to move him. I'm like, but holy shit, this dude's heavy as fuck. <laughs> I like tie him up real nice. I go to drag him. I'm like, holy oh, shit! Uh, you did witness me picking you up. And yeah, I just leave his ass there with the, with the thought of how he should carry him later. <laughs> All right. So you follow the path, and you kind of like open up to a, a little shack, and just like as None. you step out, you're like you look around, and you're like, oh, okay, it's this side of town. You're you're on the upper. Oh, I saw. Okay. Bruce. How close is that to the cliff that we were at? Well, the the cliff is on the east side of the island, so it it's really not too far. How far is it from like my shop? Your shop is uh more south towards the docks, so you got like maybe a mile or two. Uh, as I step back out in the open, I recognize what part of town it is. I'm going to pull out the transponder snail again, ring Akisu, and give them the deets. I got this man knocked out in an underground tunnel in the Upper East Side. I'm going to need you to come pick him up. Hell yeah, great job, Tenga. Where did it work up? And I'll go ahead and give you the, uh, the details and everything. The details. Yeah. Wait! Yes? Do we have Darius? Oh, yeah, what happened to Darius? Yeah, what happened to Darius? I need my little... Is Rory okay? I don't care about Rory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. Yes, we does. My boy! My boy, boy. Snyder, thanks for patching me up. Are, are you a doctor? Oh, wait. Snyder wants to go get food. Oh, that's right. Oh. That's right. I forgot. You're the doctor. <laughs> Yes. Yo, Jared. Yeah. Um, That's my boy. I have a yeah. yeah, I'll just kind of like wait around the entrance uh, for for the group to show up. All right. Good thing. Um, fucking what's his name ain't here. Better, better, better. Get us lost. Better, better, better. better. <laughs> <laughs> so satisfying. I'm gonna look at there and be like, "Ride me," and like extend my hand. <laughs> when we get to this place. I'm gonna I'm gonna see Hither Beaver. I'm gonna be like, all right, I can carry that. And then I'll like snoop around. And I'm like, look, there's a lot of stuff here that we can sell. You're right. So why don't we try to take as much as possible? Yeah, like, how long does it take for them to like get <laughs> um it takes them about uh, ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. So I kinda wait around, see if anyone comes snooping. Around the area. Yeah, it's the dominoes. <laughs> if they come snooping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of, I imagine I, I see them coming down the street. I'm like, over here, you know. And then I lead them inside, point to the knocked out beaver guy, show him the, the room with all the stuff in it. And I'm like, a lot of goods to be had here. Yeah. All right, crew. Have as much as you can. Take it back to the ship. I'll get it for man. What's the magic word? Please. <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. I walk over to GB. Give her a head pat. Everything went well. Yeah, I thought he died. Uh, you know me better than that. Yeah. <laughs> I look around at everyone and I'm like, I'm so glad you guys are part of my crew now. You guys. Yay! I'm gonna, I walk over to Rory. I kind of give him, I look down at him and I'm like, crouch down. You okay? Yeah, uh, I'm okay. Uh, Snyder uh, patched me up. He he's really knows his medical stuff. Like, you know, it really doesn't even hurt all that bad. I'll look over to Snyder, give him a nod. <laughs> Mind watching the door for us while we uh, gather this stuff? 
So you Ray right? or Snyder? Uh, both of them. I kind of looked at Snyder and Roy. I'm like, you guys mind watching the door? Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, uh, uh, that's fine. Side with Chibi and uh, Akisu. Since I can carry more than the door, I'm going to grab something too. Yeah. Grab as much as we can take. Hell yeah. This is going to be big. What's the stuff that's in here? Is it just like supplies, like food? You know, or is it like supplies for like building or something? A uh, little so, bit of everything. Because, like, uh, they're using this as their area of storage for, you know, skimming off the top so that they don't have to pay the Marines so the protection is money as much. Oh. Makes sense. Yeah, I've got a little bit of everything. Yeah. Is there any shipbuilding supplies? Probably. Well, make an investigation. Yeah. I'm assuming everything would, like, be in yeah. boxes, so, like, we wouldn't really know unless we opened it. Yeah, we like work to get like right. a little bit to go through everything. Yeah, and as you all uh, enter the uh, cavern area, you see it's all well lit, just boxes and shelves full of big old crates and barrels, and uh, a big old submersible uh, out in the water. Hey, we got a probably more than a thirteen. All right. Oh, yeah. if I rolled right on this. A modifier for your uh, intelligence. You can see if you have questions in investigation. He might, actually. At least it's not Mark. Probably well, Micah. Hold on. I, I think Micah does. Oh, it's a plus two to my intelligence. Nice. So Yours will be a 15. Yeah. Investigation, right? Yes. Yeah. Investigation. And you add your intelligence modifier. You're not okay. That would so, be zero. Uh, oh, I got uh, as far as Akisu is concerned, looking around, she don't know what's in these boxes, and she really don't care. She's like, yeah, "Let's go." I'm funny because I'm a salvager. <laughs> oh, nah, this looks good. Yoink. <laughs> yeah, like you're good at salvaging stuff, and you're just like. Take it all. <laughs> take anything. Yeah, because you have so much bag space that yeah. you can just... I'll, yeah. I'll take it. Like, you know, it's every and all it's fine. And I'll put it later. So I'll probably grab like, I don't know, three boxes and the beaver guy. I'm gonna look over to Aki and say, Hey, you have an alarm spell, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you go ahead and uh Put it down in the tunnel when we leave. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh yes, yeah. so I guess, I guess as far as that's concerned, she'd be like a, almost saying it's like a little trap there. Mm -hmm. right At least Sorry. to uh, right to alert us if anyone comes in. Yeah. Or... Okay. Uh, Chibi, as you look around. You find like a couple crates that got some materials, some good wood, and some rope and r some rigging parts, and even uh, some uh, miscellaneous uh, mechanical pieces that you're not quite sure what to make of, but they look useful. And then as you're kind of like looking around, can I carry, hmm? uh, let's can I carry all of the stuff that I see? Uh, these are like a pretty big crates, like, uh, I want to say like, uh, th three by four ish, like a, you know, like three foot on each side crates. Ow. Mm -hmm. that, that hurt. It lasts eight hours, by the way. Hey, that's pretty good. I know, right? But I have to get within one mile of it for well, it to work. Okay. You can manage a mile. Well, I can choose between a mental alarm or an audible alarm. And the mental one, I have to be in within a, a, one mile. And I'm, mm. the audible one is just like this little bell that kind of sounds whenever it's in. Mm. You know, I mean, how big is the island altogether? Yeah, like, do, do, do we know how far like a mile would reach? 
Um, let's see. <coughs> the, the island uh, uh, area is like, it's a large island, but the town itself isn't objectively that big, like maybe five miles radius. Like, it, it's really just a compact uh, city. Okay. Uh, would I know how far like, our ship is from this place? Uh, you are relatively new to the area, so like, uh, hmm. Fair enough. I, I'll, I'll, you can make a check. I'm not really sure what it would be. Probably, like. probably intelligence. Hmm. Oh, or wisdom, maybe? Let, let's go with a, let's make a survival. That's, because like, oh, yeah, survival, yeah. you're estimating distances and stuff. I am proficient in survival, so. Yes, you are. Thirteen. If you had to estimate, it's the ship's probably about a mile and a half away. Mm. Okay. okay. That's fine. I'll set it anyway because we're not going like we're not going to always be at the ship. Yeah. yeah, this is true. And I can set the alarm to not go off if like we go mm. on it. Nice. That's useful. What would be uh? What would this alarm be like? You can you can flavor it. Yeah. Like is it like a, a like a magical mark, or is it like you set up like an actual trap? I wonder. Hmm. Well, this would be fairly new because because okay. I haven't. This would be the first time I'm casting this. Yeah. yeah true. Well. Like, like I said, like flavoring these abilities however you want. Like you could even just set it up to be like a little uh, tripwire alarm. Right. Like a little device. It's like a boulder rolling in. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be invisible. Yeah, tri tripwires are pretty invisible. Yeah, but wouldn't you feel it? I mean, they're usually Step pretty on. sensitive. Like, they would break when you hit it. Yeah. I feel yeah. like you'd really feel it if you were only paying attention to it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be magic. It's up to you. I don't know. I'm, honestly, I'm thinking of, like, a sheet. <laughs> <laughs> a sheet? <laughs> yeah, like, it hangs from, like, the top of the doorway and kind of just covers the whole doorway. Mm. But and like, if they walk through invisible. it. Invisible. I like that. Yeah, yeah. kind of like a like a field. I just kind of put it up yeah. on the entrance. I like that. Like a very like a uh, transparent glyph covering a door. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what I was thinking. All I can say is, and like whenever you whenever you see it, failed. whenever you see me like cast it, it kind of just looks like this really shimmery sheet for like a split second and then disappears. Uh, Hell yeah. Uh, almost like uh, those uh, Viver cards, just like uh, you kind of like uh, putting a thing over, and it detects like life. I'm gonna kind of like watch you cast it. I'm just like interesting. Put my, put my hand through it, pull it back. Pull it back. <laughs> 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 I'm saying nice, nice. All right, We've got everything we can carry. I said it to be uh, mental. Nice. All right. So I would be the only one that knows when it goes off. Dope. I'd say that the the three of you could reasonably. Oh, well, actually, no. It's just a the two of you and Akisu. Akisu could reasonably mm -hmm. carry two crates with her. Chibi could carry one, and Tonga could reasonably carry one. That makes sense. That's two with the beaver guy, right? Um, that might be a little bit more difficult considering uh, how. I say that his weight was like 350. We can always come back. We can yeah, but how heavy? I can carry 450 pounds. Ooh, we have, you have Darius with you, yeah? You can have Darius watch this place. Mm. Didn't you take a transponder snail from? I did. You could give it to Darius. That's true. Oh. Yeah, can I walk over to Chibi and Darius and say, Hey Darius, hey, Darius. you mind watching this place for us? See if anyone comes in or out? Comes snooping around the area? 
as far as I'm concerned, as long as we get these two uh, pirate uh, captains to fight each other, I'm doing my job. Go ahead, go ahead and hand him the transponder snail that I took from the beaver. The the, can, the transponder snail is bigger than he is. Oh. <laughs> Listen, he can like hide it somewhere. I mean, it's bigger than he is. Like, he probably can't carry it. You hide it somewhere and tell him what it is. <laughs> okay. Just like. I mean, he, he could, we could probably have uh, him like up on a ledge, like if there's a rocky over. Oh yeah, and okay, put okay. the uh, the snail up there and have him be like surveying. Oh right, that's a good idea. Which sure we're all just like standing in a huddle. We're like, all right, <laughs> I gotta do this. But there is, you uh, head to a nearby rooftop, take a strand of your snail, and uh, alert us if anyone comes through. So, am I carrying the beaver guy and two boxes? I don't. How much weight do you have left? For after the beaver, it's 150 pounds. How much do each of the boxes weigh? Because I would like that ship uh, supplies. That's actually a good question. Hold on, let me calculate. <laughs> I mean, I, if it's a 10 minute walk, we can make a few trips. Yeah. If someone come, we're transporting. Yeah, we're putting all this shit down. I have a walk to all my shit. <laughs> I just said 10 minutes. Oh, I thought that was to your, uh, like, market. Uh, oh. Oh. No, my mind is on, like, the southern side of the island. Probably further to my, my shop. Ryan. Ryan, we can't hear you. Would it be... We got intel, we got applies and loot. That was weird. There we go. Hey, welcome back. That was that was a strange. You're strange. Yes, I yes, I'm strange. strange. Anyway, two questions. How heavy are the boxes and far away to the ship? Um, let's see. You know what? Uh they are cumbersome, but I'd say they probably weigh about 50, 60 pounds each. Let's go, let's go with that. Yeah. Carry two boxes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dragon behind you or something. <laughs> just like, just got his tail yeah. in one hand. Tie <laughs> <laughs> his tail around your like around your waist with like a rope. That's an awful. Less of a rope and more of a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna uh, two boxes between Nakisu, one for me, one for Chibi. We carry the can, then Darius on watch. Head out of there. All right. And you just kind of like hey, productivity. Darius behind, and you just like, don't forget me. Oh, we won't, uh, buddy. We could never. Be, be, safe. Safe. be safe. Be unseen. Be unseen. All right. Keep yourself secret. Keep yourself safe. <laughs> like, come, uh, oh, so, uh, I'm gonna say at nightfall, head back to the ship. You know, ah, so, like, stash, like, stash all the stuff nearby, then bring it back then? Yeah. Have to have Barry come back to us, you know, tell us what he sees or anything, and then, because uh, now we gotta get ready for this this party, right? Well, they canceled the party, so they're having a meeting. Oh, they can't. Oh, they're having a meeting. Oh. Yeah, we, we kind of. So here's what we do: we ambush the meeting, hmm. and then we can take the head of the captain and collect his bounty. Ooh. We learned when the meeting up. Yeah, you you learned that it's at eight eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. We didn't learn where. You didn't learn. Probably other. You you oh. learned that 
there will be a meeting with the upper echelon of the zoo pirates, which would include the captain and any uh, officers, such as the first mate, you know, second mate. All, all the major components of the crew will be there. So as we're as we're traveling back to the ship, uh, walk up aside, a Akisu, look down at the beaver guy, still unconscious. Um, let's see. You couldn't. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We take them back to the ship, you know, time up real good, tell us where they're having the meeting. He is starting to make sound. Okay, he's grumbling a little bit. So we need to get him back to the ship now and tie him up before he wakes up. We want to set up like a put him in a nondescript room. Sit his ass in a chair, you know, tie him up real good. How built is the ship? Probably like 60%. More like 80. So it's got rooms inside, right? Yeah, there are rooms. Okay. Put him in like a hole. Yeah. A boiler room. It's a boiler room. Turn into a horror movie. <laughs> I mean, he's like a water cooler, right? It will make him really hot and uncomfortable. That is true. What are you going to do? Sweat through his grease? Yeah. <laughs> they should just start a grease fire. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> you just like, put him... you come back to the ship and it's engulfed in flames. <laughs> All right. So, we want to get back to the ship and get him in a room, tie him up if we can. Mm -hmm. You can get ready for some interrogating. Mm. What? <laughs> Interrogation. The age old D and D classic. All right. <laughs> no, not the toes. <laughs> no, not the flannels. As he, he, as he, uh, as we get him like all settled and everything. Yeah, you, you get him uh, back to the ship, but as you're getting close to the ship, like, uh, you got, like, two blocks to go, he starts waking up. He's just kind of, like, groggy, like, it's kind of like, oh, oh, what? And, like, you kind of, like, see his eyes, like, kind of coming open, and just, like, he's kind of, like, groaning and grumbling. And then, I just quickly like, kick him in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking drop him. <laughs> oh, my bad. Cracking that on the wall. <laughs> so, are you guys just openly carrying this beaver man out in public? <laughs> I mean, they're just like just drunk. Yeah, this guy's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, gotta take him home. We're just we're just bringing him to the local infirmary to make sure he's okay. Yeah. If anyone asks. <laughs> Let's just see who I'm gonna tell people is. when they don't ask. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Rolling for outcomes. End of all things. Fuck. So, Fuck. <laughs> give it to me straight. You see, uh, three people dressed in the uh, the kind of the furred cowl of the zoo uh, pirates, <laughs> kind of approaching you, uh -huh. uh, like coming up from the docks. They're kind of like uh, joking, laughing with each other a little bit, and then like uh, one of them looks over, yeah. like, "Hey, isn't that Woodrow?" No. Oh god. Hey, uh, who the fuck are you? Wait, but did I did I knock him back out? That's uh, that's my question. Um well, uh, you have to have an attack roll for that. So like yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're restrained. Well, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> sorry. I'm roll sorry. Ahead. I rolled ahead. Can I roll now? <laughs> you you can. <laughs> Like he's he's like kind of like groggily getting up, and like you just kind of like see these guys uh, coming towards you. As they approach, can I like step ahead and kind of cut them off a little bit and kind of meet them? 
All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up. I'm gonna say, "All right, boys. Guy just had too much to drown them. You're gonna make sure you get." Mm. I'm just gonna like I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a make a persuasion check on I'm gonna yeah. whisper scream I'm like Tenga shut up <laughs> Okay uh, give me that persuasion Oh god by the way I rolled a 13 <laughs> Th that hits that hits Cool so he's not to me out <laughs> Yeah, I, I'd say that you do enough damage with your sheer strength to be like... No, is this a straight roll, or...? Now, the question is, is did they see me knock him out? Uh, you didn't say that you were doing it stealthily. You just said you were chopping. Oh, woman. Kick the fucking beaver in the head. <laughs> you, like, drop him. You're like, oh, shit, I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Tonga's trying to smooth this... You make explosion way. noises with your mouth. <laughs> all right but yeah as i approach him like hey guys it's all right you know he's a little drunk i just want to make sure he gets something safe and then they just see me pick him in the back of the head <laughs> i mean i would hope discreetly i didn't say discreetly so ah, shit. Now we're here. can i leave can I like strike? On the <laughs> uh, if Chibi wants to kind of like, uh, you know, separate a little bit, <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. Just, I'm gonna act like, like I wasn't never with them. I just like was walking alongside them on accident. Yeah, so you just start walking in a different direction with your box. <laughs> so yeah, as I walk up, I rolled a fifteen, seventeen. Okay. They, they got a much higher roll than that, so... God. Yeah. The the luck is turning uh, here, so... They probably yeah. had advantage, didn't they? Because they saw me kicking. <laughs> they didn't, but they should have. They should have. <laughs> hey, guys, look at... <laughs> I look back, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I just like smile at you. I'm just like, <laughs> like sorry, my friend is really cool. Like... <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we I'm get to look that, at thing but... and I'm like, I get it. <laughs> We're gonna be taking him. Oh my god, my friends are really cool. You ain't got kind of... nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of look at them and be like. You could try, but, but we're taking. Oh, oh, you don't want to make a scene in the streets, do you? The guy with oh. that can I stab one of them from the back? Yeah, I don't care. Okay, so I'm fucking fed up with this. Roll initiative, I guess. Uh, Chibi, I'm gonna need a stealth check from you. Okay. Here we go. So this is some classic shit. <laughs> so you kind of like wander off to the side of the streets a little bit. And you just put your box down so that you try to like sneak around them. But like one of them just has his eyes on you the entire time. <laughs> But does he stop me before I stab <laughs> someone? He, yeah, he like watches you approach. And like... He's ready. He kind of like readies his claws and a and a pistol at his side. But like he's like mm -hmm. watching you, like kind of like ugh, you know. Okay, I kinda... but I still stab someone. Here I go stabbing again. <laughs> and it wasn't him. Hooray! Which one was it? I don't know, another one. How many of There's three of them? What do they look like? Uh, there are three. Of them. I don't know what it looks like. Yeah. They... If he was watching me, I'd just kind of like. <laughs> That's the other guy. Someone's <laughs> watching me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will Talk say. you're not acting, I guess. I will say you catch that guy by surprise. Actually, wait. Um, 
Let me. Does that get um, okay, the, him yeah, a reaction? Yeah, you definitely catch him by surprise. Yeah, go ahead and roll the hit, I guess, right? Does that mean the guy that was watching her has a reaction? Um, oh. ooh, that, that is a good point. But she's just entering yeah, within his range. <laughs> but let's see. I would say you're probably catch him by surprise. You walk up while being watched and stab one of them in the chest. <laughs> yeah, like he was he was like eyeing you the entire time. He wasn't expecting it. And as you uh, like <laughs> stick a knife into his friend's back, he takes a swipe at you and you just kinda like lean back and as like the clawed hand with like these little dagger bits coming out of each of the fingers. Uh, uh, goes right by you, and you're like, nah, nah, <laughs> not having that. How do I roll for an attack on this? Uh, you click on the dagger, yeah. and then uh, the attack okay. option. And look at the chat. Yeah, look at the chat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, there's, then there's the attack option it'll give you different like it is normal that was almost a 20 20. it is a dirty 20 dirty 20 oh, dirty 20, dirty 20 to hit no. she almost got a nat 20 Ooh, slutty 20s all day <laughs> that is good so that's going to be your attack damage plus your sneak attack and your sneak attacks a D okay D so Okay. So before uh, initiative starts, uh, Chibi's getting the first attack off for a total of 11 damage. 11. So you just like Whoa. ram this like right into this dude's back. In the middle of this. Thing, I'm, 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 like, I'm, like, I do this. I'm like, here yeah. we go. <laughs> I pull most of my coat down. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're doing this. <laughs> Here we go again. All right, boys. <laughs> Yoho and him. Well, went in Rome. <laughs> How close are these guys to us right now? They're for sure, huh? They're like uh, about five, ten feet. I took the initiative. Like, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, because like you're Taga's, probably like and Taga in front probably. of you. And and Snyder, so he's like five feet in front of both of you, and you're just you were just kind of like. Letting them get a little further ahead so you could like knock out the beaver man. And uh, Wait, what? Trying to block line of sight. Yeah, so <laughs> Tonga's in front of uh, Akisu and Snyder, and Chibi is behind uh, the uh, three guys. Am I in the back? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Which... I thought it matters. I can fucking see above everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in front of you, but you're still standing above me, like. <laughs> yeah. You can probably like, like bend down over and around. Maybe you can, like huddle under over someone. <laughs> she is of just like a whole. Hello. So I feel like we're probably rolling initiative now. Yeah, huh? yeah. So now that Phoebe has done whole thing, roll initiative. I'm not dealing with the initiative tracker thing on this because I didn't set up the encounter. Oh, so just roll All right, level with me. Were they going to attack us anyway? Not necessarily. Oh. I <laughs> feel. <laughs> Before Chibi was going to stab him, I wanted to be like, hey, let's have a meeting tonight. We should not fight and not be injured for it, just in case. Not to it now. Because... Just like, nah, stabby. <laughs> I don't know what mine is. <laughs> For a total of 23. It I won't... have an 8. It won't I don't have a plus on my initiative. It's your dex. Oh. All right. It won't so let me I roll. I don't have a plus or so. <laughs> you just roll a d20 and then add your dex model. Oh, oh right. it, I think it worked. 19 yeah. plus... Oh, wait, no, it's still... You got 21. You got another dirty 20. <laughs> nice. Yeah, maybe next time I'll have some better improv encounters uh, ready in the VTT. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm still learning it, you know? Yeah. Oh, wait, so this wasn't planned? <laughs> you could say that. No, it wasn't. You pulled really well on initiative. Though. I think in the future you should always plan for us to fight every 
thing. That oh, yeah. You... <laughs> uh, I'll probably put, like, at least a dozen in count. Always plan for Akisu to kick something in the head in front of somebody. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Because I feel what... like her as a person, she would love to just beat people up. I feel like you'd be a bad influence on Chibiusa because, like, I wasn't going to fight them, but then I was like, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not fighting them, so. We're good. <laughs> like a good influence. All right, Orion, I popped the initiative order in chat for you for next time. All right. Does that mean that you guys want to end the session here and then jump into it oh, at next session? No. <laughs> yeah. You're going to leave me like this again. And we also have another board. month and a half before I find out what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could do... Uh, Hmm. We should no, really talk to Ring stuff. about getting him set up with uh, all his stuff first, so it, that would be a good chance to get that stuff set in. I mean, I guess. But I am writing down the initiative order because y'all got great initiative. Yeah, twenty. Got ass initiative. What are you talking about? To be fair, does that mean that Lord will be in the initiative next? No. Okay. No, but he could easily swoop into the situation. Yeah, okay. Mr. Flyby. He's he chose to be like a away, not away, but like he gets lost. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's the yeah, so away. <laughs> Dude, those Zoro memes memes go so hard. Where it's just like you'll be scrolling through Reddit and like, oh hey, all all the best. Uh, of, of this uh, thing right here. And then here it is, like, 20 of the best waifus and then random Zoro in the mix. See, the thing about this oh, is, yeah. you can't level up before a combat. So, like... <laughs> we're gonna have to probably wait till next time. I, I will award you guys... Uh, well, Tonga specifically... I'm going to give you 100 XP for, for the uh, handling of all that stuff and taking point down uh, below everything, because, like, you, you manage that really well. I was like, how can I not fuck this up? <laughs> <laughs> Can't hit him too early. He might not <laughs> go down. <laughs> yeah, you know how to add the XP. Hit him when he leaves one yeah, swing yeah, and club him upside the head. <laughs> yeah, Snyder. He, he, he stumbled. Oh, I missed. <laughs> and the, the rest of you guys can uh, get a good 25 XP just for being really good with your in character. I'm going to give you all a pirate prestige just because, like, you're really on it. Yeah, and, inspiration. Like, yeah, because Snyder's like, hey, I'm, I'm the medical. I'm taking care of the boy. Let me stay. Let me take care of the boy. <laughs> Is Rory still with us? Is he in initiative too? <laughs> uh, I do have a sheet for Rory now. I just need to properly set it up back on here. So. <laughs> this broken boy. Give this boy like a dagger, and I'm like, here you go, be safe. <laughs> but probably Rory does know how to fight, so yeah, he'll be able to be an initiative. Throwing up on the streets. How do I add this pirate prestige to my? Um, you know what? That's something that I need to do. As a number two, it's just right. it'll be tracked by the uh, what's it called? Inspiration. Okay. Uh, I'll I will have to find a way to tally it up because uh, you guys have two prestige each. So oh. currently, I don't know. Because like I had awarded a, a prestige previously. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I know we spent most of uh, tonight's session just kind of uh, getting every all our character sheets back on track. So all that before uh, getting things recorded. So awesome, awesome. And I look forward to getting things done next time. Yes. Any, any of our uh, listeners, like, uh, thanks for sticking with us. We, we know we're a mess, but it's okay. <laughs> next time, you can get a battle map of the street. <laughs> mm. Actually, yes, this does give me time to give a battle map of the streets, and you know how I love you yeah. guys using the environment. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! We got two weeks. We we're doing we're doing two weeks still. Uh, yes. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. All I right. think we made good progress. 
I would say I so. Think, uh, 